the Steel FCB-KM. I would just call this the Steel Combi Curved Edger Attachment. Hey guys, Josh with Carl's Mower and Saw, and today we're gonna to take a quick peek at this tool that you've picked up to keep your edges looking crisp and clean and just beautiful tight lines on your property. Not a whole lot to do with this machine as far as maintenance. We're gonna see some tips and tricks, how to switch the blade out, how to set the height to match you, and go from there. Before we get too deep into it, I wanna point out one thing that I see people fight. If we look right down the center of that, we're gonna see the cable that drives us. And this is driven by a cable. There's really no way around it. We have a bend in here. We have to have a cable that can go around that corner. So that cable is being spun by the motor. And when that is being spun, the blade is spinning at a much higher rate of speed than that. But what can happen with that cable is it can, it can because of the way it's supported, because it's not rigid and stiff, it can fall out of center. So I don't know if you can see it from there right now, but if I'm looking at this tube, this outer tube, this cable is gonna be off just a little bit, especially when I hold it like this. I think you can see that. So I always like to, when I use this attachment, is let gravity be my friend. And I pop this attachment into the power head from the top down, okay? Bam. Now if I do it like this, what I found is, hey, it's really heavy and awkward. But because that shaft is not centered, sometimes as I go to put it together, it doesn't want to seat in and I fight it. And eventually, because I'm fighting it and I'm shoving it together, I'll damage that cable. So allow gravity to be your friend, drop it in, tighten it up. Okay, that's number one. That's just something I see that I wanted to point out. Now, this wheel here on the front is not really for depth. We always want these blades cutting at full depth, really about a two inch or two and a half inch of, of depth out of this edger. This wheel is to adjust the height of the operator, kind of a comfort. So I pushed it all the way down. And if we look, that's gonna change, push that all the way down, the angle at which this shaft comes up. So if I'm taller, I want that wheel further down. Now, as I drop that wheel down all the way, you see how it changed that angle? So now I wanna be, I'm gonna be shorter to run this machine. So the wheel is not based on depth of blade, it's based on height of operator, kind of a comfort thing. So find your, your comfort, tighten that wing knob back up or that wing nut back up, and there we go. I'm standing on the wrong side. I am in, in not the right place to stand. I would be standing on this side, otherwise I'm gonna be getting nailed with debris. You'll notice right on the front of this guard, is a little notch, a little tab, and that lines up with the edger blade. So that's kind of your sight line. So as you're using it, you can pick up your sight line and that'll help you get a better edge without the waving, without the, the mess. No greasing is required on this, but it is going to require blade changes. You know, a blade like this, see this itty bitty little thing? Do you think that's gonna do a whole lot of good when you're going around your edges? I can only imagine how much work that performed for the customer. We're gonna take a locking pin we're gonna rotate this blade, find the lockout hole, which is right here in the front, drop that pin in like this, and now this gearbox is locked, right? So this blade will not spin. I'm gonna grab my scrunch that came with it, and it's reverse thread, so I'm gonna tighten the blade up. See how I did that? Let's tip it on its side. Nut comes off, retainer cap comes off, blade comes off, and now let's look at three options for blades. One of them is not this crummy little short guy. <clears throat> we have three blade options. We have the standard thin, the 2.4 millimeter. This is what comes with it. I personally love this blade. It leaves a nice, clean, crisp edge. And we get to the thicker. Uh, I believe this is a 3.8 millimeter, they call it. It's a heavier duty. So if you like either a wider edge or you're dealing with, you know, you just hit a lot of rocks or you love to, to edge in braille, I would say, against the concrete and sparks are flying, this is a good option. Or we also have the star blade. This is very popular with a lot of our landscapers. Customers like this because of that four point, it actually holds in its edge better and its life is significantly longer. I have found on an overgrown edge, an edge that's not maintained properly, this is, is not the best way to start, really. Once you have that groove cut and you're doing this on a weekly or bi-weekly basis, this blade works very well. So let's throw it on. We're gonna take this blade, we're gonna center it on the arbor. Okay, you'll see there's a little raised arbor right there. So that blade's gonna center on there. We're gonna put our cap back on. 
We're going to take the nut and it's reverse thread, right? So I'm going to loosen it, turn it counterclockwise, kind of preseat it, grab my scrunch again and tight. There we go. A blade change, a quick overview of the steel combi curved shaft edger attachment. Check out the full line of steel combi attachments at Carl's Mower and Saw.